Hi guys, this is another game of The Order 2 2000 and hopefully this time I will play better than the last. By the way, uh, if you want to see me the inside, uh, you can watch this video because uh, um, I'm going to blunder a full piece with, without any reason. So, yeah, hopefully this time is going to be better and hopefully I'm going to play with black and hopefully I'm not going to play the fucking Scandinavian because I just played it the times and uh, I want to show you something else. So let's start. Alright, we are playing with black. We are close to 1000. Um, last time I played the French, I guess, because yeah, usually play the, the, uh, the French and Let's do this way. I still going to play the French. Mm, no, no. You know what? I am going to play the Karakan because I really want to play the Karakan. I would like to play it sometimes. Despite the fact that uh, I still prefer the French, and I don't really know too much the plan, but I mean. The plan is always to play this. Also, let me see if I'm recording. Yes, I am recording. Yeah, I'm going to play this. If we played this one, I'm fine. There is no problem there. So, I play this move, and now I can actually gain space or attack this pawn. But I was thinking that this is a really good looking move. So it gave me a target with the knight on c3 and yeah, I'm just pushing the pawn, attacking it and gaining space. Obviously you can take because it's defended. Now he's attacking the pawn two times, I mean this was pretty much the only move. But uh, I can defend it and the only way I can defend the, the pawn is by playing c4 and I shouldn't have any problem there. If my opponent dies to break into the center, I can always play a move like this, I believe, and I should be winning probably already. For the simple reason, if I play this, he has to move the knight again. And after that, I'm going to consolidate this pawn by playing c4. And if it dies to attack c4 i always have move like b5 and i should be in a really good shape because now his bishop is pretty much useless and you know no um i i wouldn't say i'm a winning though i'm gaining a lot of space that's true but it's not enough to say that i'm winning also computer might say that i'm worse which wouldn't be a surprise so I'm just consolidating the pawn. I have a huge space advantage, but I have developed to the pieces, which is not great. But I believe I'm better. So what is going to be my next move? I really want to play e5, attacking the knight, but I can't do this now. Uh, or right, I'm not better because I'm landing in the pawn. Yeah, I was thinking that I already have had the disposition and I blundered the same, so <laughs> I was looking for something really bad. Uh, as uh, you can see, this is a and a bad blunder, but you know, I'm losing, I will say, two pounds, but it's not the end of the world. Right, so in this video you are going to say to see how to win a game, um, how to recover a game from a really bad and humiliating loss. So if I play this, I just put the knight there and, and I can resign and what can I do? This attack the pawn. This could be interesting. And if I remember correctly, 
I actually won th that game. Like, I lost two points, but I had so much activity that I won the game. Uh, obviously, the computer was saying that I was completely lost. Which is kind of the. I mean, now he has all the center. Like, he takes this pawn. And he can push whatever he wants, and I'm in double. What if he plays a move like this? I have probably move like this, which also defend the pawn. In fact, if he takes the bishop, what if I take take and I develop the knight? He has check, and I loses, and he also has this check. So I have to castle first before doing this. I can actually castle long. I mean, it's much faster than you just have to develop the queen. Also, developing the queen there, I, I attack the knight in a time, but he still can play this move, which is really annoying. Now, uh, I don't know what he's thinking about. Okay, uh, that's uh, much uh, what he should play. So, what about queen there? Queen dead and then go so long. This attacks the knight. If the knight goes there, the queen is not under attack. At least. He can't play this move because it's defended two times. And my plan is to castle long and hopefully have some activity, enough activity to win. Why I have to play this bad every time though? <laughs> yeah, I played the Karakan time and the position and was like this. Well, yeah, I, I understand it. Yeah, yeah. So, right, this doesn't look good at all, and I'm gonna lie. Um, and that long castle. If he play this, I can take that. Um, by the way, I can take with the knight because he's pinned. So um, now that I'm thinking about this, I should play this first. Because now I play this, I have to move the queen. I take this and he take my bishop to check. So lucky. And I have to go there. The question is, is he going to see this? Looks a bit complicated. Yeah, he's not going to see this. Now. I mean, this has to be played. Or I can take it. No. Do I want to take the knight? I kind of want to take the knight, honestly. Take the knight. I'm going to take the knight. And then move the king and develop the knight and develop whatever they want. So, as you can see, I'm down two pawns. That's completely true. But I have some activity at least. If he takes this pawn, I have this move, which is really annoying for him. But I need to play this because now I can't go there. Good move. I had to play something like this, but hoping that he is going to take the pawn. If he pushes, I move the knight somewhere and pray. My plan would be something like this, probably. I don't know. We'll go there. Go there. Hmm. Yeah, maybe it's annoying, but... Um, I mean, not that annoying. You can also...
I was saying he could actually not move the pawn, but what? What is this? Like I take, he push this. I guess that's the plan. But he's losing a piece. I mean, I'm not down a piece. I'm down your pawn, so I can take queen later. Um, but if he pushes, like I take, he pushes. The knight is under the attack, but I can attack the queen. And now um, this is losing for him, I believe. What? What? What am I missing? Now I'm up two pieces. <laughs> Not even one, two pieces. Now. Let's say you are in a situation where you have two pieces more than your opponent, so you are much, much better. Uh, by the way, this also is a pawn. Um, what you should play to do, or you can do, is actually play it one piece for two pawn if you can. Let's say this way. Now, this is not the case because I can actually take this pawn and if he take he loses the queen and he doesn't have a check so that's completely lost now. So this is how you recover a lost situation. <laughs> yeah. Bit to the plus sixty two points. And he resigned. Okay. Um, so, do we, do we really want to see the analysis? I kind of have to see to, to let you watch the analysis. Right. All right. Here we are with the analysis. So, I died to play the Karkal, as you saw. And now I think this d5 is reasonable. Hmm. And this is a mistake. This is a mistake. Come on. This is a mistake because now these two are a, a weakness. I am not strong. He's playing. The best moves. Yeah. I made this same mistake a, a while ago. So bad. Yeah, he's not losing. I mean, he's, he's plus two. He's not completely lost because I have a lot of activity after that. You see, to play e5, which looks really stupid, why would you allow this? <laughs> I wouldn't allow this. Now develop the queen somewhere, no? Yeah, I mean, it's almost plus three, but of the wrong castle, that's the problem. Yeah, right, but I mean, I know I'm losing, but at least I have something. So I should capture the knight before, before the long castle. Yeah, he's saying bishop takes f3, which which is the thing I said before, and now you long castle. No, <laughs> he doesn't really, really want me to long castle, but you know. Yeah, I mean, he is really winning. I play e5 because oh, what can you do? What about this move? Look uh, really good. But mm, also, you. Could play to do something else like uh, developing pieces, for example. Like, what if you play this? You're completely winning, you're going to cast along and win. Yeah, it's almost plus five. This move doesn't even make sense. So, I tell you what, what, what he told because he captured with the bishop. He told that I was losing the queen because the queen was pinned to the king. The problem is that the queen can 
take the bishop if the bishop was defended okay that would have worked but is not defended so yeah now he's completely lost his down two points and what i was saying is like like let's say let's say let's say the queen was there so now i can actually talk to it there is nothing wrong to take this pawn because i have two more pieces and i can actually suck a piece in order to win two pawns because these pawns are really strong and if you think about it how can your opponent win he can win if he makes a queen somehow with these two guys but what if he doesn't have them you just have a piece you have a piece up and you can have the same number of pawn after that and you also give check and you are completely winning as you see so if you have more material you can simplify the position into a winning position like at the end of the day you add up a piece and your opponent position is really really bad this is not going to be a pass pawn come on you are going to win a lot before so I captured this pawn and now he resigned because he cannot take and what else can he do? He cannot castle this way, he can castle this way but let's say he castle this way, he get this guy, this I mean I wouldn't surprise if he's mating not much time oh yeah he's at limiting sure Um, and if he goes there, you can go there. He goes there, and you play a move like this, and you're completely winning. Ooh, computer says knight h4 because if king there, there is check and checkmate. So if King there is pretty much the same concept, and if King there hmm, check and check isn't isn't this check mate check mate yeah. So that's it for today's guys. <laughs> I'm sorry, I am going to win a game without blunder everything next time. Again, I don't have to embarrass myself this way every time, but I do. It's for the content, it's not that I do it on purpose. I wouldn't do that on purpose, you know, I'm 2100 and I'm so strong. <sighs> Go. Go watch other videos. Bye for now.